I wanna take you for a runaway train Like a madman laughing at the rain A little out of touch, a little insane It's just easy as it's dealing with the pain A runaway train never coming back Everybody welcome, it's this A-Z-D-R-I Sapar motherfucking divas are on today's video blog This is an adult channel it's like an entertainment channel. That means everything I say and do is under the banner of entertainment. You're going to a great movie or reading a great book, and it's got a great message, and I'm going to deliver the message, okay? Um, adults, uh, you're responsible for your own condition while you watch this. Remember that as an adult, you're always responsible for your condition. If you're watching with children, walk, guide them through this. And finally, spread the word. Arash D. Bazaar, your favorite bad boy on the web, also known as Arash Zapar D. Bazaar, your favorite bad boy on the web, is back, Okay? Let's listen to this for a little bit longer. One of my favorite songs. That I, it's one of my go-tos. So you know what a go-to is? Go-to. Hey. Go to hell. Let's start. Oh. Fuck it. I'm not going to go there. Okay. Today, let's talk about this, uh, this idea that life is supposed to play out a certain way, okay? Like, they, they've given us a packaged reality. Like, well, for example, let me tell you, when I was growing up, the idea was you would, you would grow up, you'd go to college, and then you'd get a job, you'd get married, and uh, then buy a house, and then may maybe go on a vacation together for a while, and then get, like, a second house somewhere, like, you know... In, some cabin or something. There was like this set thing and you'd have kids and the kids would grow up and they'd have kids and your grandkids would sit at your feet during Christmas and shit like that. And this was like a packaged experience they had given the world that I just would give a middle finger to right away. Like, I'm sorry, no, I don't think so. It has nothing to do with who I want to be and what I want to do. I want to be a fucking warrior. I don't want to have nothing to do with that. I want to be a philosopher. I want to study deep shit about life. Last thing I want to do is spend my life doing that dumb shit. Okay, and this is an idea they give us. Now we're in 2021. I think the date is 17th. Yep, 17th, February 2021. That's kind of less acceptable now. People have seen that that's pure bullshit by now, right? But still, there's these packaged experiences. For example, men are supposed to go out and get drunk over the weekend and get some pussy and come back. <laughs> go, warrior. And then they're supposed to do that again and again and again and again. Right? And then they're supposed to like want to build an empire at the same time. Well, I'm sorry, an empire? You know what the word means? Okay? How about you just build your life to start with? Okay? Or they get involved with the wrong woman. You guys get involved with the wrong woman. I've been involved with the wrong women. Okay? They either change or we're not together. 17th February 2021, AZD is going through a breakup. Why? Because she's not growing, because she's not changing, and I'm not sticking around. You see, this is a very important thing. Epictetus, one of our ancestors from Stoicism, and who's we? The IMC Nation, warrior fighting monks. Oh, got a middle finger for the hater. Three more silence for the lions then? Man, there's just nothing you can do to stop truth. You know what I mean? It's just what it is, okay? So welcome the lions then, everybody. All the great men, let's go. We're at 117, I'll cut it off at 300, and then you'll know that I cut off the balls of the planet once I did that, okay? Well, I'll come up with something different at that point, but 300 is what I want to redo this thing. So anyways, you can find us in my Instagram, AZDIMC408 NorCal. AZDIMC408 NorCal, that's the Instagram. And if you want to sign up for the Lions then, it's only 97 bucks a month, $3.25, my brother. You're not going to spend that on yourself? And how much money have you spent on these hoes, huh? Think about it. You're not going to spend $3.25 a day on yourself. How much have you spent on them hoes? Okay, that's what it comes down to be. I'm going to change your life. You're going to be amongst masters for real. And you'll know right away, okay? All right, so let's get started again further. Let's restart. We get involved with the wrong woman, okay? And what's a wrong woman? A woman who does not want to reflect her man and grow with him is the wrong woman. And that's what I'll tell you is the wrong woman, okay? And outside of that, she's the right woman. I don't care what she's done. I don't care who she knows. I don't care where she's been. If she's willing to change and reflect her man, she's a correct woman. Hallelujah. Let me say it again. If you're a woman, it doesn't matter what your past has been. It doesn't matter who you've been or who you haven't been. It doesn't matter what you've done, what you haven't done. The men of IMC Nation, we have a code. And I'm staying it right now. 
Listen carefully. All that matters is that you want to change and you want to reflect your man. Motherfucker, I got you. No problem. Okay? Why? Because we're strong enough to handle all that shit. Trust me, you have not been with a real motherfucking person yet. All right? So that's the code. And when that code breaks, you men fuck up. Because you could have a woman that's fine. You could have a woman that has money. You could have a woman that has the connections you want. You could have a woman that, you know, fucks you right. I don't know whatever the fuck the deal is. Whatever it is. But one thing is missing is she's not willing to change while you are. Right? And she's not willing to grow with you. Okay, now that right there. You could go for a year, you go two, three, four, five. At some point, you're going to have to stop. Why? Because what, stop, what starts happening is like you're having a, um, the relationship is like a lion having a relationship with a lamb, right? And maybe it works in the Bible, but it doesn't work out in real life, okay? You cannot have a relationship like that. It's just not going to work, okay? It's not going to work. You should trust me on this one. The way you want to create a relationship <clears throat> is you want your values to meet, okay? What are values? The things you value in life, okay? So for example... Evolution is, is literally the, the, the code here at IMC Nation. We just want to evolve for the better. We evolve to, to a higher state. Every day, find us in a higher state, all right? That's what it is. And so that's the value. If you don't want to evolve, like actually evolve, like put in your fucking work. You get what I'm saying? Not just say it and just read a half inspirational book. I mean, to evolve, you're going to have to go through, what does a caterpillar go through? to change, right? You're gonna have to go through periods of whatever the fuck it goes through. I can tell you as humans, right? We go through a lot of <clears throat> what are called growing pains, okay? And this is a lot, actually. And enlightenment is incredible <clears throat> for one moment. And then you're back into your shit again and handling more shit and more shit and more shit, except that you start having a different experience of life, okay? And your experience changes. The point is, if you're a man, you're, you're not supposed, it's, it's a lie that you're supposed to go get drunk and go out and fuck these hoes. It's wrong. That's the music, and the music is not getting anywhere, anybody at all, actually. Okay? That's a false idea. It's wrong. So I'm here to correct it for you. What's a man supposed to do? A man is supposed to be about his vision. And you're supposed to sit there and work your vision out. I mean, if you're like 18, 19, 20, you're like, well, I don't know what my vision is. Sit the fuck down then. Let's go. Use what God gave you. Use your intelligence. Use your mind to create a fucking vision for yourself. Okay? So I have a vision. I have a vision for myself. I have a vision that's very big. And it's come to fruition. It's come to, to life. This is it. I'm living my vision. Now the vision doesn't stop because the moment you achieve your goal, then what are you going to do? Sit on your ass? You shouldn't. You keep furthering the vision and furthering the vision. So I have a new vision. I have a new vision in life. And the character that I'm creating for myself, which is myself, is so fucking supreme and so superb that I cannot wait to present this character to the world. Do you see that? Do you see the mindset? I cannot wait to bless the world with my character as I do every day. But where I'm headed and what I see the vision for it, I cannot wait to have this character go out into society to face the world and do what it does best, which is serve humanity and it's at its highest level. Now, that right there is so exciting for me to say. I swear, it's like my heart just had an orgasm when I said that. It was the coolest feeling. <clears throat> That's what a man seeks. And a man who's by himself without the support of other men is not a man. You know why? Because he's been kicked out of a tribe and he's not good enough for another tribe to pick him up. Go ponder on that one, motherfuckers. If you're a disloyal motherfucker, whether you're a disloyal gang member, or you're a disloyal team member, you're a disloyal family member, you're a disloyal whoever the fuck you are, where you have and you should have had your loyalty to whoever the fuck you said you would have your loyalty to, this is why you're trash. Because in the code of nature, you are alone, and a lone man says that other men don't trust him or don't value him. Go fucking chew on that one, motherfucker. So what I've done is I've opened up IMC Nation to the entire world. Two requirements, your heart and your soul. That's a lot. Yes, it is. Because that's what I paid to get it. And that's what every man pays to be there. Now, the money, the donation as you enter the door is $97. You got it? That's for the men, lions then. But IMC Nation is for everybody. You don't have to just be in the lions then. That's where you learn from me as a teacher. Imagine two, three hours of me doing this shit, but at a higher level. That's where you meet other men. That's where you see where your tribe looks like, who these men are. You start realizing, I don't care what country you are in, in the United States right now, or the world. I guarantee you there's an IMC Nation brother very close by, within an hour drive. I promise you, test me. It's, it's just what it is. And that's right now. What about in two years? 
it's going to be better. You don't become less, you become more when you, when you act like this, when you eat like this, when you have people like this around you. That's why nobody could stop. Nobody could stop it. Nobody could stop it. Impossible. It's not possible. You get it? It's not possible. And all haters can do is just prove the point. They, they, give, they give validity to the movement. When you have hate, you have validity. You have to understand that, okay? The greatest movements on earth have had the most hate. They crucified Jesus. They killed uh, Socrates. They, uh, um, whatever, Galileo. Should we keep going? Every man of knowledge and every man of philosophy who could speak has been tormented, tortured, and killed on this planet. Good. Well, we're 2021. Humans have evolved to some degree something called the freedom of speech. Something called the United States still exists to some degree right now. And that's what we're fighting for. Because as long as there's a freedom of speech, then men of intelligence can speak freely. Now, we also got smart enough to what? To make ourselves tough. So in case, in case these motherfuckers tried again, this time instead of drinking the hemlock, I'm going to shove it down their throats. I think they need to fucking drink it now. And that's what's changed. These are good men, the art of the hero. You need a hero in this life. You all need heroes. You know how I know? Because I needed a hero. You get that? I know you because I know me. And you can't escape because I didn't escape. That's all there is to it. Okay? I saw myself. I cornered myself. I know me really fucking well. And, they, and Sun Tzu says, when you know the enemy and you know yourself, 100 battles uh, fought, 100 battles won by you. This is where we are operating from right now. I know the goddamn enemy and I know myself. And you know what? They look very similar to each other. They're not that different. So every battle will be won in the end, no matter what. Little, little losses here and there. Again, if there was not for little losses, the wins wouldn't matter. If it wasn't for the bad people, the good people would not make any sense. You get what I'm saying? Like you have to just get that there's a dynamic existence to life, this polar opposites, the seven laws of alchemy, everything has its opposite and the pendulum swings between the two. The master tries to keep the middle. Say, Arash, why don't you keep the middle? Motherfucker, if I wasn't keeping the middle, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Okay, just understand, we speak from there, we move from there, we understand from there. But life moves like this, right? That's the way it is. For example, I'm going to change the temperature on the thermostat. It's going to be hot at night <clears throat> and then turn off the heat. Hot at night, turn off the heat. But all of that happening, it doesn't make any fucking difference for me. It's just, there's a con it's a convenience, but it doesn't make or break my fucking life. And so when we live life, we stay exterior to it. We stay outside of it while we watch it interact in front of us and then we enter, we put our energy in it and put our votes in it we put our votes in it we do what we got to do to push forward the parts of our life we like knowing that the moment you push one thing forward you bring with it its opposite that's life i mean that's the game of life two teams have to play each other you have to have two teams playing each other otherwise it's not even game of life so there's no resistance to that okay not only there's not a resistance to that, there's an invitation to that. Am I not the motherfucker who gets on and invites haters all the time? Have I not been doing that for 20 fucking years of my life? Isn't that how I built IMC? Isn't that how I built myself? I built myself by facing my opposition. And that's what a man is. Now, women listening should just be like, wow. And want some part of it. Yes, you get a man who you can reflect. This is me. You would reflect me like this. You wouldn't be just like me. It would literally be impossible for you to do that. But it would rub off on you to some degree. You would get you would get some some sort of some sort of an energetic fucking vibration from this that would make you greater. You get it? And that's all it is. A man's supposed to focus on his vision, align himself with other men. That's part of it. You're not supposed to be the lone wolf. You're fucking stupid if you do that. I tell you, it's one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in life. When a person can't make one or two friends to count on. Like, you are so fucking pathetic. You are so fucking pathetic. That's the first thing I want to know is, do you have a tribe or not? If you do, I like to enter and watch how the, your tribe treats you. I need to know everything I need to know after that meeting. Like, literally, I can judge any man by walking into his tribe, if he has one, sitting back and observing for a couple of hours how that tribe treats him. If they're genuine, they're not doing it because I'm sitting there, I'll tell you everything I need to know about the man. And that's how you judge a man. You judge a man by the tribe and how they treat him. I mean, do you get that? This is called the tribal code. The tribal council is coming up this weekend or next week or something, whatever. Coming up at another month. And that's what I'm teaching. Do you get how just that one datum could change your fucking life as a man? Mm -hmm. 
You cannot judge a man who's by himself. Because there's no other points of view to judge him for you. It's the same reason why women need a man to be pre-selected, have other women in his life. For that exact same reason. You as a woman cannot judge a man who doesn't have other women in his life. It's impossible. It's impossible. But the best way to do it is to find out how he is other, around other women, how the women are around him. And that's difficult to do. But for a man, you need a vision. You need your tribe. And then your job is literally to make that tribe get stronger and stronger and stronger. And in the process of doing that, your rank raises in that tribe that's getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. So a man and his tribe are connected the way a wolf and his pack are connected. And we are the motherfucking wolf pack. And if you didn't know it, now you know it. The original program was called Brotherhood of the Wolf. Go back fucking 14 years, you'll see. That was my original program in Seductive Instinct. You see, everything comes full circle. We just understand more now. And a woman is not a woman without a man. She's a little girl. Okay? She needs a man to become a woman. And then when she becomes a woman, her job is to watch how he is, watch how he moves, what he does, and nurture, care for that, and make that greater. That's what you're supposed to do. So like, that's why you like the, <clears throat> the story of Bonnie and Clyde. Or why do you like Harley Quinn and the Joker? She rides for him. She is an image of him. She looks like him. She moves like him. She's all about him. She broke him out of the psychiatric ward. Like that's, that's the character. If any of you could either be Romeo and Juliet or Harley Quinn and Joker, every one of you sane ones, sane ones would pick Harley Quinn and Joker because Romeo and Juliet is off code. That's why you get that feeling of sadness and love for Juliet, but you don't want to be her. But you don't give a fuck how Harley Quinn lives or dies. You just want to be her. You see the difference? Because that's on code. That's on code. And that same code goes for the men. What's the Joker doing? Loving her so hard all the time? He's about his business. And as long as she's about that business, he's got her there. How could a woman not appreciate a man about his business? You get it? It's like, it's just backwards, man. It's backwards. You've been taught how to be a bitch. How to go out drinking, shaking your ass. That's a woman. Not even a woman. That's a prostitute. You men have become prostitutes. Seeking other prostitutes. No. We're heroes seeking princesses to save. Welcome to IMC Nation. Look. You can be Captain Sabaho. I'll be Warrior Saber Princess. I'm all right with that, actually. In fact, I'm not even happy unless there's a motherfucking girl I could go fucking take care of. I can't imagine going all day not taking care of a woman. That would be the weirdest shit. I'd have to call up my mom and sister and be like, what do you guys need? Well, why? Well, what do you mean, why? Where else would all my fucking power and strength go to? Jacking myself off every fucking day? What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You were put here as a man to go rescue the princess. Have you played any video games or watched any movies or read any books growing up as a child? Do you know that that's the only books, movies, and video games you wanted to play? The best one was the one going through all those obstacles to save the princess, Super Mario Brothers, the never-ending good game. That was the, the most fun game. The one where you had to battle the environment to save a princess. That's the best, best one. Whether it was Legend of Zelda. These were like major games that stayed on forever. The next best game was when you would fight another guy and level up. Fight another like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. Those are the games. No game was go fall in love and lose yourself and lose your balls because you love her so much. Yes, I love her so much. Absolutely. That doesn't change nothing. That doesn't change nothing. That's that end of story. It's like loving someone who died. I love my grandpa. I can't bring him back. I love my grandma. I can't bring her back. My love doesn't die because they're not around. And that's what that is. You could love someone, but also know what I'm saying is true. That's what we're talking about. That says people buying the alchemist. If you haven't bought the alchemist, it's on sale by the time you see it. I don't know if it still will be. Shit is blowing motherfuckers' brains apart. Okay. 
You don't even know. But when I when I do a product and I say, the alchemist, I am Hermes Trismegusis, prove me wrong. You want to get that fucking thing, okay? I'm not just talking shit. See what I'm, why I'm saying that in there. Okay, let's wrap this up. So there's a false... I, there's a false ideal they're giving us, a false image, like you're supposed to be like that. In fact, men, I cry, I get angry, I get sad, I have all the emotions. And yet, and I'm a good man to follow. I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying that as a role model. I'm not saying that, well, you know, I do that, I'm not a role model. I'm saying I'm a motherfucking role model and you should listen to what I'm saying because I'm tough as nails, man. I'm strong as fuck, man. But I don't deny myself my emotions. I just know when and how to express them and how to take care of myself. And you as a man, you gotta be a self healer like you never before. You're gonna be in battle every day. So you better be able to come back and heal yourself right away. You women are gonna break your fucking heart and that's just the way it is. So you make that heart so, so strong, so strong that when it breaks, it explodes into love, it explodes into love. Don't let them ever bring you down anymore. This is why you need the lions then, do you get it? Stop sitting on your ass and get in class. ArajZapar.com, Lions Den, click that motherfucker, pay $97, save your own motherfucking ass, okay? We're IMC Nation, look for us on <clears throat> AZD IMC 408 NorCal, Instagram, add everybody that you see, you'll know everybody, it's very clear, okay? Be the best, fuck the rest, let's go.